Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be sharing some bits and pieces that I picked up from the craft show that I went to last week with the fam and guys, um, I picked up a few bits. Um, it was it was i don't know it was okay this is the first one i've t um, attended since they were stopped a couple of years ago obviously with everything that was going on and um i feel like there was only a couple of stalls that you i could go to as a paper crafter um well a few stores and the rest were kind of fabricy, kind of sewing haberdashery kind of stores stalls but I must admit, one of the craft stalls was huge. It was long. It took up a lot of space. But let's jump in and I will go through some of the bits that I got. So I didn't think that I picked up that many things. But as I was taking them out of the bag, because they've been in the bag a full week, um, I realised that there's quite a few bits here. And um, I'm just thinking if the kiddos bought anything. Yes, they did, actually. And I bought one thing. So I might have to... Um, stop and go and grab that other thing but let's start with the things that i have in front of me so the main stall that i went to the one that was super long um i picked up these bits at so both me and my daughter have those um kanken backpacks and we've tried to put pins and key rings on and they always seem to come off so we thought we would give um these embroidered patches a go they seem to look pretty cute when people do it and they had loads of them but these are the ones that we chose we thought they were super cute so it was this yellow taxi um this pack of strawberries and we're just gonna share them really and this strawberries i think i said those, those are cherries not strawberries these are the strawberries these are strawberries and they were three that we picked out that we thought was cute so those were those at the same store they had now guys i do like beads i use them i do use them occasionally in different things but i do have in my mind that i want to make charms and i've been collecting little bits and pieces to make charms um I, in one of my previous alley um hauls i picked up some finding some ends clasps and some chain and links and things and so at this one they had like a kind of big tray of beads a lucky dip and they had these bags and it said you know you could fill up a bag for a certain amount or you could get three bags for a certain amount and i kind of should have got three bags but i only got the one guys and um and that was because i don't know it was doing me in when i kind of scooped it and i was getting all different colors colors that i thought i wouldn't use and so i actually stood guys and i picked out the colors yeah i did i'm that person i picked out the colors that i liked and that i thought that i would use so i was really happy with this considering that i can't remember how much i paid for this but this little tub i got from hobbycraft at their pick and mix and I know it cost me quite a bit to pick up. They're really cute beads and everything, but it cost me quite a bit to pick these this little tub up. And I'm sure it cost me probably near to this or um or maybe the same amount because I've had this quite a long while. But yeah, and it was just quite I don't know, I thought it was quite expensive. So when I saw this, I thought, yeah, fab. And as you can see, I don't know if you want me to take them out, but um, I just chose the pearlized colours and um, I'll just open it up. Why not? Let's open it up and get some out. Oops, let's take these off for now. I actually put this down because as you can see, the sun is streaming through the blinds and it was reflecting off of my um, glass mat. So I put a bit of felt down. So, yeah, as you can see, that's a combination of some of the beads, just these pearl ones, these large kind of see-through ones kind of caught my fancy. My daughter was like, I think she actually got these ones because she was like, Mommy, I like the butterflies. So she picked out some butterflies that she liked. And I said, just put them in. And, um, yeah, so basically got a bag of those. And there was a, one or two little pieces that I saw that were interesting, like this leaf. And, guys, it was a huge tray. I mean, it was huge and it was deep as well of just beads. So that was a bit of fun. So, and, yeah, I've got these odd ones. I thought these were interesting too. So I picked up some of those. Just like the colours. 
and just the the look of it even with the bubbles in it thought those were really really cute so i've got those and then i also picked up what else did I, did I pick up oh at the same stall i'll leave those aside because my daughter wanted the butterflies at the same stall while i was oh no uh, at the same stall yeah i picked up um he had some of this red tape but the thicker one you know that i missed out at it at the first craft show um the guy only had the really thin one which i've been using it's really useful but sometimes you need the thicker one so he had the same deal five five or ten for five pounds or something like that so i picked up that and to be honest i would have been happy if that's all i got really from that stall because i really needed some of that red tape i've run out run out of it so i picked up that and i think that's all i got from that stall and then as i was pa i had paid um the guy said oh we've got some mystery bags Sorry about the rustling. So they were all these blue bags, really big. This one's quite heavy. I've already opened one. That's what you can hear rustling in the background. So there was about, there was, I think there was three of these blue kind of poly envelopes and he gave his spiel, but he said it was uh, mystery bags and you know, and all the ladies flocked, flocked to them. And I wasn't sure. And I was standing there with my daughter, we just paid. And I said to her, should we have a go at a mystery bag? And she was like, yeah. So she chose one and I picked up two. And he was saying there was loads of stuff inside and, you know, uh, mixed media. And one was cards. And I can't remember what the other one, what he said the other one was. So I picked them up. I'm going to show you what was inside. So everyone was super excited. The ladies around, we were all chatting what could be inside, you know, having a bit of fun. And... Sorry, that's my son coming in. And so what was inside this first one, which I believe he said was mixed media, were, I don't even know if I'm going to get them all out, but had quite a few toppers. Sorry about the rustling. Let me take it out of that bag. That is causing a lot of rustling. Of toppers. So these were all the toppers that were in there. And then there was a pack that has these binders. Now, these are bamboo spine cover covers from the Zata um, brand. And I believe that is the machine that you use for binding. I don't actually own the Zata machine for binding. However, these won't go, go amiss um, because I can use the board to make albums. They are, I don't know what size they are. I'm not sure what size they are guys it might be eight by eight so there was one two three four five six eight by eight and then these little mini journal covers so obviously these are the bite the covers for the binder solution there was no binders in there the wires or anything just the covers my daughter got this pack as well and she's already because she's into art and all that and she's already started making one into a little art journal for herself so even though yeah we don't have the actual machine we can use these to make albums so that was pretty good and then the rest of the things were these um i'm believing these are toppers so these can be used in various ways so this one is like a cat sledding and then we have a couple of these with some the circles with the flowers on it and then um there was a few of these with these flowers and they're just like toppers guys they said they're 250 gsm and um and even if i don't i could use them as bases to make well to make anything really even toppers for little cards and things like that so that was cool as well and so we were we were happy about those i think she said my daughter said she's already started making a art journal with hers and as i said i um i did pick up a second one 
So this one did have this little sticker on it, which said pop-up card. So I was like, pop-up card? Okay, let's get that and let's see what's inside. So my daughter didn't get this one, but I said we can share what's inside, whatever's inside, inside here. And guys, this, I'm sorry about the blinds. Um, it is just suddenly the sign has just come out here sorry i think that's the best that we're going to be able to do but um so yeah these pop-up cards i don't know um i'm guessing yeah oh they come with everything in it they've got an envelope and the other like backing card don't know if you can see those let me put them on my lap there's quite a lot guys look at this like there is a lot here because there, there are mul multiples of the same ones so the first ones that i have here are these teddy bear cards oh they want to fall off my lap so these teddy bear cards i think there's like five of them and you get this so i'm i'm assuming you stick this one to the back end and when you open it the teddy bear pops out so it's all pre-cut for you and they have an envelope in and i haven't been through this i kind of paired into the packet but we're looking at them together so this one is a handbag handbag one got a couple of those i don't know oh this is getting really bright and you can't i don't think you... right so i've just fixed the blinds it's still got a glare guys it is sunny today absolutely sunny so this is the handbag can you see it's already pre-cut there's a few of those it comes with a backing card and an envelope and then i have some that say uh, this is champagne this one so there's a few of those and it's like a champagne bottle but you can't see that one because it's um on black and then there's a piano. I don't know if you can see the outline of that one. I will open. I'll open one as well so we can have a look at it. I don't think you can see through the plastic. This one says, oh, this one says new baby. So this one says new baby and it has a blue backing card. So these ones say new baby and the words are die cut. Can you see there? The words are die cut out. So then I'm assuming they pop up when the cards open. So that's going to be fun to do. Absolutely fun. I've got some good luck. You won't be able to see those. They're on black card. Oh, there's some happy birthday on black card as well. There's some balloons. So these ones are happy birthday. You can actually see a bit of it. Oh, no. No, I'm going to have to open it up. Some balloons, a rose. There's quite a few. Oh, there's flowers. There's even a princess castle. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, there was just a whole load of those. So, that was worth it as well. I'll probably put some in, um, like, my little bucket that I have for friend mail and to share because i don't think i'm going to be doing all of those let's just have a quick look at this one this one says a pop-up teddy and let's open it and so yeah you get a die cut card you get a card and it's oh it's actually lined with another color then you get your envelope and then I'm assuming you fold along the lines and then put it into side the card so that he the bear appears brown. You'll see the brown from underneath. Then you fold it over and you have your card. Those are really cool. I'm actually going to try some of those out. And then you could obviously embellish them as you like. I also did take part, guys. So those were the purchases that I made. But there were some stalls, as they usually are at the craft fairs, where you can make things. And so I'm sorry about the hoovering in the background. <laughs> but um, it's just when I can fit it in, guys. I mean, like the videos and that. So excuse the hoovering. A couple of the um, 
crafts that were available um and the first one that i did and this did take quite a little while and we've done it before me and my daughter um at the craft show and it is silk painting and so the ladies on the store they talk about they talk to you about silk painting um this one you paid a few pounds to um sit down and do the activity let's move this one out of the way for now and yeah they, they put it in this little package afterwards when you're finished they give you a card and an envelope they give you a pre a book with some pre-printed designs with gold outlines like this this is the little leaflet they give you because i think you can go and purchase um kits and things from their online and they had lots of different designs and i chose um a bunny because you know it is that time of year and so this was my one guys and so me and my girl sat down and we had a go at doing this and so here is my silk painting and it was a bit difficult i'm not gonna lie i i this time i think last time i just done solid solid colors this time i tried to do the technique of shading and blending and um and yeah and this is how it came out i'm really happy with it the bunny i had to try and fix at the end because um if you haven't done silk painting before when you put the ink on it spreads so and it dries and because where we were as the lady explained it was really warm inside and the ink was drying as we were painting so it can sometimes leave like a blotchy effect and that's not really what you want you want a blended effect so i tried to rectify it after to give it to make it more unified but i was really happy with the way that this turned out so we had a go at this at the show and that was fun and then there was also a, a young lady who had a stall and she explained to us about her story and that um she became ill and she took up a craft to keep busy because i think she was at school age she was um an older teen maybe or mid-teen and um yeah and then she actually started posting on instagram and things what she'd be making and people were excited and wanted to take part and she came up with a business idea and she, her her and her family were running it her mum was there and things like that and she's just explaining all her backstory and it was absolutely super fab um and i actually did buy from her store as well so i'm just gonna go in a minute and grab um what i bought because i don't have it with me right now one of my daughters has taken one part because she absolutely loved doing it and she's been having a go at it but this is what i made suffice to say with all that chatting and it is the iris paper folding and i made this easter egg so they had two designs they had an egg and they had a crown and i chose the egg and you use and they had all different colors i went with the pastel color theme and then they have a template in which you follow to create the iris folding, the flat folds. And then you come out with this. And then they had all stickers and diamonds and all different bits that you could decorate your card with. Um, but I kept it plain and simple. And yeah, and that was lots of fun. And then they gave you a bit of paper for the inside so that you could obviously cover where you had been um, doing your actual, you know, the back of of the iris folding and then where you could write your message and i thought that was so cute and so we did buy a couple of um kits from there we bought a beginner kit and they had a deal one at the time for the show you got another mini kit so let me grab those so so yeah so that was the one that i made while we were there then when we finished we had a look at the things that they had and so there is a picture on the back of the young lady there she is and it is called pretty in paper by b.com they explained how um how they run everything from their home and you know it's a family effort and they all help to pack the boxes they make up the boxes themselves and everything so this was the starter kit guys it's already been opened my daughter's already opened it but super cute and then it has these eight designs inside and uh, we chose the pastel colored kit and then inside you get all the bits you need to 
make up those cards you even get double-sided sticky tape it's probably not neatly packaged this is how it was inside really neatly packaged the guys with her own little sticker on and yeah you see you get your double-sided tape you get even a pen i think these were what were these i forgot what was in here oh i won't open it because um this is it looks like sprinkles in there there's some sprinkles and little bits and then you get your patterns and you get a little card that explains everything the folding guide and then you get some little stickers in there to decorate your cards with after you get some card in there and then the bases and the envelopes at the bottom super cute guys small business check it out she's a lovely girl she really was lovely spoke to her for ages um and it's really heavy nice little kit so that was the beginning kit and then they had a special deal you could basically um it was ending up that you kind of got this for free i think i don't know how it worked out but there was a deal on so we bought i think at the at there the, the i think at the show the beginner kit was the biggest kit that they done i think like they've done other kits where you've done bigger cards but you only got two cards in the pack but that i think that was the biggest kit if i'm mistaken i'm i'm sorry but i think it was and then you got these mini ones and this makes two flower cards and i'm sure it's got everything in it obviously it doesn't oh my daughter's already opened it so you get the card bases and everything the same in there you get a little guide as well and then you get your little backing card. This is what probably goes in the middle because there's a hole in the middle that you can put put some card in, some glittery card. So yeah, guys, that was everything that I got at the show. It was brilliant. We had a nice day out, nice family day out. We had a meal on the way home. The kids enjoyed themselves. They had fun. We did a few crafts. And so, yeah, it was absolutely fabulous. So guys, if you like this kind of video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to give me a comment down below. Tell me which bit you think you liked. Um, or if you've got any questions about going to a craft show. Um, yeah, just talk to me in the, in the description down below. And guys, hit the subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.